Okay? Um, do you recall the part of his deposition? This is what I was trying to get to. Do you recall the part of his deposition where he said that free speech systems is a single talent business, that talent being Alex Jones? Yes, I do recall that. Okay, recall that part. Um, and Alex Jones has total authority to hire and fire anybody at Free Speech Systems, correct? Yes. He has authority to overrule any decision that's made by a subordinate? Yes. He has total authority over uh, InfoWars' finances? Yes. He's not accountable to any board of directors or any governing authority? No, he's not. Right. He has 100% control over uh, Free Speech Systems' revenue and how it's allocated, correct? Sure, correct. And I know you said that um, you weren't you weren't prepared to say what percentage of Infowars revenue is from supplements, um, but I think the best you could do is that it's a large majority. Uh, I'm not trying to. Yes, it is a very big portion. Um, it, it's probably the majority, probably a significant majority. I just can't say the number. Okay. Now it, it does have other sources of income. One is advertising income, correct? Right. And. Um, Donations. Yes. Okay. So, for example, Alex Jones will say, "Look, even if you don't want to buy uh, iodine, you can make a donation directly." Yes. And one of the ways he offers people to make donations is in cryptocurrency. You know what that is? Uh, yes, such as Bitcoin, etc. Exactly. Yes. And <clears throat> I had to figure this out myself, but it's not actually cash. It's like it's almost like a stock or an asset, right? You give some, and I, by the way, this is not one of the topics that it, you were asked to prepare on, but yeah, I, I do. It's not it my forte. A, it so. is a source of revenue. I, I do need to ask you about it. It's kind of like a, a stock or an asset. Somebody could give uh, InfoWars, uh, you know, 500 Bitcoin, right? And it has a value, right? Right. It has a, I think it has a market value, which changes and fluctuates. Correct. Right. Correct. And when somebody gives um, cryptocurrency donations to free speech systems, it actually goes directly to Alex Jones personally. Correct? Uh, if it's if it's a donation, yeah. uh, Bitcoin, um, I, I, I believe so, yes. Right. He doesn't tell his audience that, right? Does he tell his audience where it goes or right. what is being done with it? No. no. He, he doesn't tell his audience that when you donate Bitcoin, to free speech systems, it's actually going right to me. He doesn't tell them that. He doesn't tell anybody where it goes or what he does with it or right. Well, well, hang on a second. He tells his audience that the donations are going to free speech systems, correct? I don't know that he's said they go to free speech systems. You do or you don't? I, I don't know that, okay. no. You've been to the Infowars.com website? Have I visited it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a donation page where you can donate cryptocurrency, correct? I believe so, yes. Yeah, and it says support the info war. Support info wars, donate here, right? Support info wars, yes. Yeah. Support the production, support the, the business, the show, help us stay on the air, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Right. Except when somebody donates, it doesn't go to that, it goes to Alex Jones, right? Well, Alex Jones needs to stay on the air, so I mean, I don't know if that's what he means by it, but that's right. how it's being advertised. But, but the point is that it goes to his personal account, not the free speech system's account. As far as where is the money kept, yes. Thank you. So the way um, free speech systems attracts customers for its supplements is by serving them free content, right? Like the show and the website. And then when they arrive for the content, directing them to the online supplement store, right? Right, there are various ads and banners on all of the articles, on all of the individual pages, on the videos, and then you click on those ads and there are, that will take you to the InfoWars store. Right, and, and that's the business model. You come to the to infowars.com where there's the news, right? 
Well, right. You come to the, if you come to the home page, right, and you can click on various articles from the home page. Right. So, so just let, let, just follow me here. So, Alex Jones has a huge audience, right? Oh, sure. Okay. Yes. The audience um, accesses his content um, either through the radio, and we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. But let's just talk about online first. Okay. The audience, this huge audience, accesses his content. Uh, Including the content that we're here about, the content that said Sandy Hook was a hoax, right? Yeah, all of the content. They right. do it online. That big audience comes to Infowars.com, right? Correct. Or Band Video, or Band.video, his video site, right? Right. Or in earlier days, Prison Planet TV, right? Right. Okay. Um, PrisonPlanet.com, right? Right. There are a few websites. News Wars. That's another one. Yep. Infowars Europe. Yes. Okay. They come to all those websites, and then when they get there, Alex Jones sends them to the store, right? Well, it's not send them. You have to click on the ad. But yes, there are ads all over. You know, on all of the articles, on all of the videos, there there are ads all over. So I mean, you don't send them there. You have to click on it. You have to click on it. Right. But actually, for Infowars.com, the first thing you see when you pull up the website is an ad. You have to click through the ad to even get to the website, right? You mean when you first go to Infowars.com? Yeah, like if I typed in Infowars.com right now, mm -hmm. and it takes me to the website, the first thing I'm going to see, before I even get to the headlines, let's call them, the first thing I'm going to see is an ad for, just give you an example, super female vitality, right? Sh sure, the, the, it's, it's, prob it's very, very prominent on the very first page of the website. Not only is it prominent, you can't even see the first page of the website until you click through that ad, right? Mm, um, I'm not sure if you have to click through it. I haven't been on the website in a long in a, in a, a while. Okay. That's okay. Let's finally yeah. pull up um, Exhibit 84. I think this, should, this is already in Judge Full. Uh, that's not what I meant. I'm sorry. Um, let's pull up Exhibit 85. Is that yes, sir. This is in it. <coughs> Thank you. 86. Here we go. Thank you. All right. This is what I was talking about. So this is what I was referring to. When you come to Infowars.com, this is the first thing you see, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a pop-up ad. Yes. It's a pop-up ad. Right. You right. don't have to click on the ad. You can X it out. Right. You click the X up in the upper right button. And if you do that, you get to the news. Correct. Right. If you click on DNA Force Plus, 50% off. It'll bring you to the store. It'll bring you to the store. Correct. Got it. And that's how he makes his money. Yeah? Oh, yes. Most of it. So, you know, if I, I'm just going to get a little bar, is that okay? Certainly. Sure. There should be fresh water in that picture. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go there next. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Saw me getting low. <clears throat> So we talked a little bit about, um, I, just, I just mentioned the audience. I want to talk about that. Um, the, since the Sandy Hook shooting, Mr. Jones' audience has grown exponentially. Is that fair to say? Since 2012, uh, yes. So there has been an increase in the viewership. It's just been, at least, as Mr. Jones has described it, it's been an exponential growth, correct? I think he's used those words, yes. All right. And as a result of that growth, Alex Jones and Infowars have had billions upon billions of social media impressions, correct? I'm sure that there have been that many. I don't know the, num uh, the exact number, but I'm not going to disagree with you that there's there's a big social media footprint. And I talked about this in my opening, um, but I Object, want to... Objection, Judge. It's not evidence. Sustained. Sure. No, no, I, I was just promising because now we're going to show them the evidence. So why don't we pull up Exhibit 220? This, this uh, is in, Judge. Yes, it is, Your Honor. Right. Okay, now you've reviewed this document before, right? 
Uh, yes, I think I've seen this before. Yes. So, one of, the, one of the things that we asked InfoWars to give us were all of their uh, social media numbers uh, beginning in 2012, right? Yes. Right. Now, they didn't give us all of their numbers, did they? Um, I'm not sure what was produced, to be honest, and I know that there have been issues with locating material and okay. so fi finding out who has access to certain material and things like that. So well, This gets back to the, what I was asking you about earlier. You acknowledge that you have an independent duty, did you not, to uh, determine things like Alex Jones' audience size, correct? And I did make attempts to do that, yes. Okay. Um, and you, because you knew we had asked for all of their social media audience numbers, you asked them to give it to you, correct? Yes, I asked for uh, a lot of information regarding social media and uh, audience size and financials, and I asked for a lot of material, yes. And, and, and Alice Jones didn't give you any social media numbers for 2012, did you? So I don't think that there's, and no, I didn't receive anything to that effect, and there's a problem as to why that is. Well, there's a problem as to why that is. You, are, you agree with me that Alex Jones was under a legal obligation to produce that type of data for the years that we asked, correct? I'm understand, I understand that he is under the obligation to produce. And you asked for it, correct? I asked for a lot of things, yes. Okay. And in 2012, 